The Bodyguard was a huge hit when the movie first hit cinemas back in 1992, following the forbidden romance between pop star Rachel Maron, played by Whitney Houston, and her personal protection officer Frank Farmer, Kevin Costner. The Hollywood blockbuster was a global sensation with an equally successful soundtrack to match, including Houston's cover of the Dolly Parton ballad, I Will Always Love You. Twenty years after the movie premiered, the Bodyguard musical launched on the stage in 2012 and has been going strong in various productions since then. With the musical beginning its UK tour, starting tomorrow, October 10, in Sheffield, some fans may be curious to know if there could be a follow-up to the film. Houston tragically died in 2012, however, Hollywood A-lister and Yellowstone actor Costner has previously said he was hoping to make a sequel to The Bodyguard. Speaking to Lorraine Kelly on her ITV daytime show back in 2019, Costner revealed how he wanted to get Diana, Princess of Wales on board for a sequel back in the 1990s. He confirmed the reports about the story being true, but admitted it had only come out after someone else had spoken about it. The Oscar winner explained how he'd had discussions with the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson. Costner said, Sarah was really instrumental in that and something I really admired about Sarah was how open she was to that idea and how supportive she was of that idea and then clearly how much she liked Diana. And when we lost, Diana, that was tragic but incredibly tragic and private to me, actually because I didn't talk about it, but somebody else on the internet talked about and that's how that story bubbled up a while. He continued, there was a little discrepancy about whether it was true or not and we worked our way through that. But one of the things about Sarah that I don't know people know is Sarah, in trying to help this along, never ever once said, well, what about me? She never joked about it. She never hinted at it. She was all about Diana, it was really, really incredibly respectful the way she was. If the sequel had been made, Costner would likely be reprising his role as the former Secret Service agent turned bodyguard to the rich and famous Frank. There have subsequently been reports Meghan Markle could be another figure lined up for the bodyguard sequel, but again it's unknown with some commentators branding the move ludicrous. Some have suggested Markle could be making a pivot back towards Hollywood, although it's unclear whether she is planning to return to acting after playing attorney Rachel Zane in the legal drama suits. For now, Markle and her husband Prince Harry have been working behind the scenes on their production company Archwell Productions and their deal with Netflix.